before we even get started, I would like to say uh, a very special shout out to Fuck 2020. <laughs> All right, now, Teddy Bridgewater <laughs> here is, um, you know, they're out there on the field. They're doing his pregame progressions with the coach. I heard the owner was out there. I heard um, the GM was out there. Said he's moving fluidly without the brace. But again, the ultimate decision lies in Matt Rule's hand. Will he play? Will he not play? Um, again, it's, it's a toss up right now. We probably won't know until the 12 o'clock hour here, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they sit him. I won't be surprised if they start him either because that's the Carolina way. Now, let's talk about this matchup right here. Uh, we're also missing two starting uh, offensive linemen. Doesn't help out an uh, injured quarterback. I mean, it doesn't make sense to put a guy out there with, without his best protection. So that's another reason why I believe PJ should be starting. But if he does, okay, it makes sense to the Carolinians. Um, defense end Romeo Okura from the De uh, Detroit Lions has six sacks this year. I think he'll be licking his chops to get a hold of those two backup offensive linemen. Also, uh, defense end Everett Gripson had five pressures, five hits on Alex Smith last week against the Washington Redskins. Uh, he'll be lined up against Taylor Motor, which I'm not too much worried about. I think Taylor can hold it down. But who knows? They rotate those guys. It could be a field day of sacks. They're also done with a plethora of injuries when it comes to Matt Stafford. He has thumb injury, but it looks like he can play through that as well. Carolina Panthers have given up the ninth most uh, uh, receiving yards to a tight end, 548. Five touchdowns, ninth, ninth most uh, receiving yards given up to a tight end. And it looks like um, they have a favorable matchup with um, what is it, uh, TJ Hawkinson. So I think TJ should be able to get his off. Marvin Hall will fill in for the injured Galladay. And also, due to the fact that DeAndre Swift is out there promising rookie, they have Adrian Peterson and Kerry Johnson. Um, again, we struggled against the run. It hasn't changed all season. So, again, this is the battle of the injured and wounded. But uh, Detroit, to me, has the slight edge over these guys. And um, even though they had a 29th overall defense, the 30th run defense, the 24th passing defense, I think they got a slight edge over us due to injuries. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you said it. You said it best, man. We're both limping in, we're limping into this one. Stafford's dealing has every single finger injury you could possibly have. We already listed five mm -hmm. starters out for this game. So we're we're both just trying to get through this one. I'm just hoping both quarterbacks can play, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, week by week, this you don't really know what you're gonna get from our team. It's probably the same how you feel as well. So I don't really know what to expect. I'm just hoping, you know, we let Stafford take some shots. I'm hoping that, you know, thumb injury isn't anything that, you know, holds him back. But he looked fine against Washington when he had it in the first half. He finished the game out. And he played his best game of the season. So I'm excited to see what it looks like there. No Kenny Galladay, so he's going to lose his weapon. Like you said, uh, you know, they did activate Mohamed Sanu. But I think it starts with us taking shots, opening up the run game, you know, helping out carry out, helping out AP because, you know, we don't have Swift back there. And then defensively, it, it'll it'll be interesting, you know. How do you feel if they have uh, if they had to start PJ Walker? You think that's a big difference? You think that's a big decline? Yeah, I mean that's the difference between eating that Subway and then eating that Little Caesars. <laughs> it's a big difference, you know. Subway, it, it's not the greatest <laughs> shit in the world. You know, Teddy is Subway, but the Little Caesars isn't shit. Constipation. But let's let's be honest here. If we're fully healthy, we're kicking the living shit out of you guys. I mean, we're just not healthy, man. And then we're inconsistent as fuck. Um, we're, we're unable to get sacks all year long. We're one of the worst teams when it comes to getting sacks. So even with your, your quarterback thumb being messed up, I, and I, I give us like a little bit of credit when it comes to passing defense. We're not that bad. And then you guys are missing uh, uh, Galladay. So only issue there is the tight end. If y'all can establish the run and some kind of chemistry with the, the tight end Hawkinson, <laughs> y'all might y'all might pull it out. I got I got y'all winning 23-17. Or excuse me, 20-17. 20-17. And uh, it's a close one, man. And it's sad to see that this late in the season, uh, your quote-unquote franchise quarterback, it seems like they're out there trying to force him to go with two backup offensive linemen. I don't get that. Teddy, please sit your ass down. There's no need to be out there. We have shit to play for. Let's get in the Trevor Lawrence boat. <laughs> hey, hey, you got a close prediction of mine. I went 23-20 Lions, so we're, we're, we're thinking on the same page there. Man, I wish I could see my team healthy too this year, man. I, you, you said you blow us out if you were healthy, but I'm just saying, like, Man, I just want to see our team healthy for once. But, no, I mean, this is kind of like last year we had to deal with a lot of injuries. And it's an opportunity. You know, they can get back to 500. We saw the Cardinals lose. It's a chance to get into that wild card race. We've already had the tiebreaker over the Cardinals. But, you know, this is it. I mean, this is your opportunity. Because if you lose today, you got a really tough stretch. I mean, we got a lot of playoff teams coming up. So, playoffs basically start this week. we got to get it done. i got Lions by three. All right. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you being here, as always. Appreciate it. So, let's move on.